Uh, I'm Grace Ferrey. I'm Allie Hunter. We're seniors at Concordia Lutheran High School in Tomball, Texas. And our video is about a dystopia that relies on morality serum, but only the rich can afford the morality serum. And our protagonist is unemployed and he's working so that he can be able to afford the morality serum because it's kind of like a custom for their culture mm -hmm. and he feels that he needs that to be able to fit in. Uh, it took We took a lot of time storyboarding it out. Um, we're actually worried about the time constraint of getting it done. Um, and we also used boom mics for the audio and then uh, we used what, uh, cameras. I don't know. Find it. This kind of camera. <laughs> I don't know the name. HD CMOS Pro. Enjoy. Enjoy. The Introducing C13, the Morality Serum, the new government issued drug. Using the newest technology, this serum allows you and those who take it to communicate truthfully. Our scientists work hard to get to the truth of it all, so you, you, you don't have to. Learn to trust those around you again. Get yours today. 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 Just last night, in the alley behind Willow and Crescent Street, a dispute over government-issued serum C-13 ended in homicide. Unfortunately, we can't get any closer to the crime scene as it's still under investigation. We have, however, identified the suspect, Liam Bonifo, and currently have him in custody. The victim and witness still sadly remain unidentified. That's all for right now. We will keep you updated periodically throughout the day as more details come in. Back to you in the studio. Thank you. Um, I'm going to need you to... Say your name, your full name. Uh, I'm Elise Peters. I'm going to need you to take me back 24 hours and start off with what you first recollect. Okay. I was on my way back from this internship with Google that my dad had got me. Hey, lady. You got any spare change? When I ran into this homeless man. And I was being nice, I felt nice that day, so I handed him a couple dollars. Is it? Yeah. Well, I, I tried to keep walking, and he followed me and he asked for more. He demanded more. Ten bucks? What am I supposed to do with ten bucks? You can buy any morality serum with ten bucks? Hey, lady, come here. I know you have more money in there. Lady, hey! I'm, I'm sorry, it's just really hard to talk about this. <laughs> and and this person came by just off the street into the alleyway and and then the other guy just runs away and I, I knew I had to call the police like what else was I supposed to do? This guy just came in and murdered this guy. That's a little close. Can you state your name? Liam Bonava. How old are you, Liam? 20. Where do you work? I'm unemployed. So can you take me back to the beginning of around 24 hours ago before the incident? Um, well, uh, I was walking home. I turned back around and I saw a lady getting mugged. So I turned back around and I went to try to help and I tried to fight the guy off that was trying to take her purse and um, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I turned back around and she, she was gone. Are you currently taking the injections daily or in possession of them? Uh, no, I'm not. Um, I'm trying to save up for them right now. You do understand why we have more reasons to believe Elisa's story about being the victim, correct? And you being the suspect of the homicide. Um, I, I guess. I, I, I was trying to help her. I didn't... Did you or did you not kill him? 
I, I didn't intentionally try to hurt him. I tried. Someone had to be the murderer. I, but it was dead. He's in the morgue now. It was, was it or it, was it not you? Yes, but it wasn't intentional. Thank you. That is all. That's all you're going to ask me is like four questions and that's it? I got what I needed. How are you? you so you're just going to trust one person's testimony. That's it. One I'm person. Here as a prosecutor. What do you mean? Then you're, what do you mean a prosecutor? That's I, all I you're going to do? I have to what are you? Down. What do you want? More testimonies for something I didn't do? What I think is unfair is that in order for your voice to be heard in this world, you got to pay the right price. So what? You're just like the rest of them. I don't think I deserve to be compared to them. I think we are alike in more ways than you might think. What do you mean? I don't take the injections. I don't believe in conforming myself to the standards of society and the government. In, in, introducing C-13. And that is why I want to help you. We need to exploit these holes in their perfect little society. That's great and all. But how are they going to listen to the guy that can lie? We get rid of the possibility. What do you mean? I'm thinking that we tell them you have the injection. And how are we supposed to do that? First, you're going to need a cover story. What are these from? When the guard stops you and asks you about your bandages, you're going to say, My aunt in Orange County sent me the serum. And of course, they're going to report it. And when the time comes for you to make your appearance at court, you can leave it to me. We call Celeste Johnson to the stand. Please give us your testimony. Liam is a good person, and I believe that he's been mistreated, just like everyone else in the society. Because not everyone here can afford taking the morality serum. But on top of that, he's still a murderer. And that is what I have found out in my interrogations with him. He lied about taking the morality serum. So he's a liar and a murderer. And that's the bottom line. You lied to me. I trusted you. You said you were going to help me. Sit back down. I've come to a verdict. The defendant is guilty. Uh, I sentenced him to 20 years in prison. You can't do that. I'm not a guilty man. He got what he deserved, you know. I, mean, I, I know he probably wanted the injections too, and that's why he probably intervened. So it probably wasn't even ever of good heart. 